YouTube, I am the Tenorman64, bringing you guys some more Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we went through the Lost Cave, got ourselves a bunch of cool items, found that girl selfie, acquired a Misdreavus, which we're not using because it is not the Let's Play I intend to use Misdreavus in, and we also saved and acquired the Sapphire by defeating... The Rockets in the Rocket Warehouse, which means Team Rocket is basically gone for good, guys. However, that does not mean the game is over, because we've got a lot more to do. Such as here in Memorial Pillar, another little side area here in the game, where you can basically catch Pokemon. Um, two things I haven't gone over yet. I First things first. Uh, the ever-loving genius that I am, I completed everything I was supposed to do and didn't save meaning I didn't save I didn't save anything so I had to go back and do everything I was supposed to do last episode this episode however that also meant that I acquired a few new Pokemon that I didn't get to give bios for so Sentret! Sentret is a normal type Pokemon, basically the Rattata of the Johto region. Is it useful? I think it's kind of useful. It's good as an HM slave, just like Rattata and Zigzagoon in uh, the Hoenn region and Baidoof in the Sinnoh region. So it's your basic normal Pokemon. When it evolves into Furret, it gets a bit more speed. I like it. Just, again, it's just not like... A great Pokemon. Now, I want to see if the Pokemon I'm looking for is here or not. It may be in another area. Because I actually caught this one. I was proud of myself when I caught it. And it's not. Darn it. Uh, then where would it be? How about cave? Maybe in caves. Even though I caught it. I caught it in that area. It was that one Pokemon where... There you go. It was the one Pokemon we couldn't find when I was recording. This is Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet is a very interesting Pokemon. I believe up until Gen 6, you could not teach this Pokemon any TMs, and it would have to settle for the four moves it knows. Wobbuffet is a counter Pokemon, meaning its entire strategy is about either taking its opponent down with it or dealing back double the damage. It cannot take it does not do initiative attacks. And if it's faster than your opponent, the only move it could use that would make it faster would be Safeguard or Destiny Bond. Safeguard, as you guys know, keeps you from having any status ailments while Safeguard is out. Destiny Bond, on the other hand, gives you a good chance that if you are taken out, I believe if it's on that turn specifically, uh, and you use Destiny Bond on your enemy, you will drag your enemy down with you. <clears throat> the other two moves Wobbuffet knows are Counter, which if you're attacked physically will deal back double the damage, and Mirror Coat, which does the same thing with special attacks. It's a very, 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 very difficult Pokemon to use. I don't recommend it. Personally. Personally, I don't recommend it. I'm the eldest of the Bird Brothers. The best thing about birds, it has to be the beak. Oh boy, I feel like this is going to be a trend. So I have a feeling the last time I covered uh, this area was that episode where I wasn't clinically allowed to be alive. And you're going to use Aerial Ace on me, get the same type of attack bonus, and still not be able to do jack crap to Big Mama. Uh, but as I didn't save, all the levels are skewed. Um, not everybody is up to the levels they were at the end of last episode. In fact, Yoshi's up to level 55. Uh, Mr. Mime's up to level 54. Uh, yada, yada, yada. You guys get the drill at this point. Um, but nothing really else has changed too much. Um, Yoshi did try to learn a move called Sheer Cold, which is a fantastic move. If you're looking for a one-hit KO move, but like Horn Drill and Guillotine, it only has 30% chance of working. But if you get one on, that is a guarantee. That is an insta-kill right there. And you you should be, like, proud that you got a kill like that. Oh, great. Hop it. Oh, I caught one. Must have been off screen again. I'm sorry if I didn't show it. Actually, I didn't show it. I know for a fact I didn't show it. 
I caught it on screen while I was trying to get Pichu to hatch. But I never brought it up because I am not that smart. I'm guessing these bird brothers have the families of birds. Did I teach Bulbabutt Sludge Bomb yet? I don't think I did. In this iteration of the game. So if I have to go to the Pokemon Center, I would, uh... Ah, let's keep Big Mama out. Let's get Big Mama up to level 55. But anyway, uh, let's just, uh... I, haven't, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. I just really need to finish this project because May and April have gone by really fast. And honestly, I'm kind of glad my dad canceled on me because we were supposed to be going to see uh, Captain America today. And I just, uh, I was like, Ugh, I can't. I appreciate the offer, but I just can't. I've got to finish this project. And it's nothing against Pokemon. It's just the fact that it's just been going on. It's, I started this pro, I started recording this project in October. Then... This particular iteration of it, I haven't done since... Well, I've been recording since... November! And in between that, Kingdom Hearts, Mario Party 1, Mario Party 2, Mario Party 3, and Pokemon Platinum have all been finished. Or are on the in the process of being finished. So yeah, I just need to get this... Ooh, Hoot Hoot! Hoot Hoot is a very interesting flying type Pokemon. I've always been curious about it. Sort of like Execute. Hoot Hoot's best, abil best stat is Special Defense, oddly. And it learns a lot of Psychic type attacks, so you would think that maybe it could be a useful Psychic type, but it's only a normal flying type. It and its evolved form, Noctowl, are the same. And... I experimented with using one in Pokemon Heart Gold when I was just trying to get... Because I needed a bit uh, the Chikorita evolutionary line to complete my Pokedex. So, what I did was... I caught a bunch of Pokemon I didn't have yet, and I traded them all over. In exchange for useless Pokemon I didn't need anymore. That I had in my Soul Silver thing. Um, but anyway... It's a good Pokemon, it's just... If you're gonna look for a Psychic-type attacker, you could do better. Like, even if a Special Defender, I would recommend, uh... I would recommend What's a Call before I would recommend, uh... That, okay. Uh, let's see. Scrub Scrub, what are you doing? Hello, your Pokemon look healthy. This is where I buried my Onyx. It, it was named Tectonix. Well, that's nice. Now, if I remember this subplot of uh, this thing correctly, what you have to do is you have to toss a lemonade here. And then if you come back, you should be able to get something more something better. Cuz that's it's a good TM that you're supposed to get here. I'm not sure. Uh we'll have to come back at a later point. Like, maybe once we're complete, when we're, once we're done with the last island. Because that's what we're doing for the bulk of this episode. So this episode's going to be a bit of a long one. In case you didn't expect it. Um... I don't remember. What is north of Trainer Tower? And, uh... That, because I'm going to be doing... This may end up being 50 episodes. I did plan on it being 49 episodes... So if it's 50, that could be a little problematic. And I may have to postpone a couple of projects if that is the case. I don't know. Well, we'll see. But first, let's go to Seven Island. I gotta remember what's above there. What is above Trainer Tower? Actually, let's look at the map. Then maybe that'll... Maybe that'll remind me. Okay. Oh, it's just Trainer Tower. Okay. Then I'm not worried. Okay. Um, should we do Trainer Tower this episode? 
Uh, let's get our guys a bit more balanced out first. So let's get everyone up to level 55 and then we'll go. Because Trainer Tower is basically like the battle frontier wherein you'll get battling experience and whatnot, but you'll, uh... No, you won't get battle experience, but you'll get prizes for winning things. Not many people come out here. If I train here, I'm convinced that I'll get stronger and stronger. Yep, stronger and stronger. How'd you like it to learn a move like that? It's Swords Dance. Ooh, let's see. Can I teach it to beaks? Oh! I wanted to teach it to beaks, but I can't. Sorry, man. If I could teach it to beaks, I would, but uh, I just can't. It's depressing. Uh, actually, uh, how close are you to getting up there, Luna? Oh, you're close enough. We'll let, we'll let you go. Beaks goes next. Because I know there are a lot of Pokemon Rangers down here. <laughs> I'll flick you away effortlessly. Okay. That's a little hostile for an aroma lady. Bellossom! Bellossom is one of the evolved forms of... Uh... Gloom, if you use the Sunstone we found earlier on Gloom, it'll evolve into Blossom. Uh, unlike Bo unlike uh, Vileplume, I believe Blossom is geared a bit more towards defense than Vileplume is. And it does not have the Poison subtype. So for me, I would go for Vileplume if you're using that, personally. But I'm sure you could find something good for Blossom. I've never personally used one. I've gotten them, but I have never used one. Up oh, another Blossom. Okay, Beaks. We gotta teach this girl some respect. And you are the one that does the job of teaching people respect. Because you've got Dropek, and Dropek beats everything. Alright. Alright. Ooh, level 54. Everybody's getting there now. That's good. So, now, basically, I think the farthest person from getting to level 55 would be Mr. Mime. Uh, let's see. Stat. Let's look at, uh... Oh, no, it's still Beaks. Beaks and Mr. Mime. And Bulbabut. But Bulbabut has the XP share, so that doesn't count. Okay, there are a few new Pokemon we can find around here. One that I don't believe anybody has, so I'm not sure if I should cover it or not. So... I'm going to hold off on covering it until we beat basically all the trainers on the route. But since I'm assuming most of these people aren't going to have new uh, Pokemon, I'm just going to fast forward through most of these fights. It really isn't a need to show them because we've, we've massacred plenty of Voltorbs in our lifetime. Oh, Pinko! Okay, Pinko is a new Pokemon! Pinko is the definition of a physical wall. It is a bug type Pokemon that really does being a wall very, very well. There are very few moves that can really damage it physically. Now, it is a special liability, but you can find ways around it. Is it a useful Pokemon? Yeah, if you need a wall on your team. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. If it's a if you need a wall on your team, you can definitely go with Pinko. It's a good Pokemon. I use one a lot when I play uh, Pokemon Coliseum. Though I honestly don't know where my Coliseum case is, a uh, disc is. Not at the moment at least. There are a few new Pokemon on this route though. One in particular I really like. Actually two in particular on this route I really like. Uh, the big one we haven't seen yet. Well, actually, both of them we haven't seen yet. Uh, would I recommend both of them? Oh, absolutely. One is a one is ridiculously hard to raise, though. So if you had to choose between one or the other, I would go with the the more common Pokemon around here. But if not, then it's perfectly fine. Luna, you you do what you do best, Luna. Massacre with Flamethrower and Return. Shockwave is there to provide a little extra move. Oh, and you burned him. Luna, you amazing girl. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, you adorable thing, Luna. I'm so proud of you. 
You have become one of the one of my favorite Pokemon I've ever used. And and a lot of people were raising their eyebrows, like of my friends that were raising their eyebrows when I said, Oh, I'm gonna use uh Clefairy. They're like, Oh, what happened to Dragonite? Nothing happened to Dragonite, I just wanna use Clefairy. Oh that's wonderful. I'm like, bitch, please, you don't know what you're talking about. I have the best teams. Alright, can we have something new, please? Bloom? Doubtful. Beaks, just do what you do best, sweetie. And a vile plume. One of my favorite grass types, but must die nonetheless. Before we do Trainer Tower, I want everybody well around 55. So, in case. Up, oh, Slowpoke's around here, apparently. Not the Pokemon I'm looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. Golduck and Psyduck. Uh, have I talked about these yet? I don't think I have. We, we may have seen one or two. Psyduck, I think we've definitely seen. Golduck, I'm not sure. Uh, either way, uh, both are interesting grass ty uh, water types. You can only use them in, uh, or find them in Fire Red. Um, I like them. They're good water types. Uh, well balanced water types, actually. So, if you really want the, the truth with that. They are, like, fantastic water types for, like, well-balanced. Uh, but if you're looking for a sweeper, like a Starmie, or a Bulk, like a Blastoise, or a Gyarados, or something like that, or Lapras, you could probably do better. If I just did two bios again, I apologize. But sometimes I forget. Okay. Now, as I was saying... There are two new Pokemon on this route. Centred is not one of them. Now, one of the Pokemon is very rare. The other is somewhat rare. So, this could take a little bit looking for them. So, no. Spiro, you have never been important to anybody's quests ever. Firo, I'm sure you've been useful to an extent, but not to me. Oh my god, fine. I'll be right back, jeez. Okay, I was mistaken. I don't think you can find the Pokemon out here just yet. So, I'm gonna head out deeper into the canyon. So we can, you know, find the Pokemon. Because it's kinda important that we find them. I'd like to give, uh, I'd like to talk about them. Oh my god, it's Fampy! You adorable elephant bastard, get in your Pokeball! Or Great Ball. You are like the d the definition of catching Johto types. Uh, Fampy is a ground type Pokemon. Sort of like the Sanshu line, only a bit bulkier. Um, yeah, it's very good. Hits hard. Good at defense. Solid. Good Pokemon. The only problem is in Gold and Silver and Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you catch it really late. So you'd probably have better Ground type Pokemon by then. Because by that point, you could probably have Nido King. You could probably have uh, the Sand Slash. You could probably have Quagsire. A whole bunch of Pokemon. Uh, no, not interested. Now there are two more Pokemon we should be lo we should have to find, and if my phone is telling me the truth, oh, come on, get up, get up, get up! Come on, let's see. Uh, actually, no. Let let scratch that. Make that just one Pokemon we can find. I'm not sure when we find the other one, uh, but it's a 5% encounter rate, so the likelihood of us catching one on screen are slim to none, so, or at least encountering one on screen. I'll obviously turn recording back on, but 
yeah. Oh, Marowak. I don't own Marowak. Uh, drill pack. And drill pack again. Oh, thank you. Great. Oh, great ball. Ultra ball. Welcome to the party, Marowak. Nope, not interested. Okay, anything else? Alright, yeah, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, we finally found one! This is Larvitar! Larvitar is a rock ground type Pokemon. Doesn't have a lot of prospects, it's a very weak Pokemon early on. However, if you can raise this Pokemon and have the patience to raise it all the way up to level 55, it, you will get your... You will get highly, highly, highly rewarded with a mighty Pokemon called Tyranitar. Very bulky, incredibly powerful, relentless. The only problem is, like the Dratini line, it is very difficult to raise. So I would not recommend raising one just for like... Just for the sake of raising one to be like, oh, cool. This thing is, this thing is gonna take a while. Like, it's ten levels away from reaching its secondary phase of evolution. And just get caught in the damn Ultra Ball already, you annoying bastard. Thank you. Or since you're a girl, you're an annoying bitch. Doesn't really matter, I'm not using you because I already have my ground type. And Big Mama does her job fairly well. Okay. Uh, I thought there was a third Pokemon we could catch out here. I'm gonna have to look up where we can find it. Because out here, there is a specific Pokemon that as I look up and down the, uh, the trainers in the area, I'm not seeing it. So I may have to give it its, its own little bio. And that being Skarmory. Skarmory is a steel flying type Pokemon. It is ungodly in terms of its defense. It is incredible at its defensive capabilities. I mean, it's one of the best defensive Pokemon out there. Because it's steel flying type, it resists one of steel's main weaknesses, which would be ground. Also, the fact that its only two real weaknesses are electric and fire, which are special type attacks. Not to mention the fact that, uh, Skarmory is incredibly fast. Alright, we look like we have a double battle up here, so... Let's go to Beaks and Mr. Mime, give them some experience. My darling Nia, together we could win. Okay. I'm sure you guys will at least make an honest effort. Oh! You. Okay! As you can see, they have a Toro, so the guy's doing well, and the girl has a Miltank. Miltank is the female equivalent of a Tauros. As you will notice, every Tauros you come across is male. It's defi by definition because most bulls are male. Conversely, most cows are females. In fact, I think it's all cows, but anyway. Miltank is, takes, its, takes its namesake very seriously. It is a tank. Both a physical and special tank. It is also very fast, and it has a move called Milk Drink, which will allow it to heal itself. Not to mention this annoying fact. That I think both of them like to use either Swagger, use Swagger and Teeter Dance. And Milk Tank is not doing either. I will, I will accept this. I will accept this, oh, of course. So great, now I gotta waste two turns healing my Pokemon, and then one of them is gonna get teeter danced into confusion. I know the strategy. If you guys watch this, uh, if you guys watch this uh, during my, uh, if you watch this uh, my Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play, you'd know how much of a problem I had with these trainers in particular. And full restore, cause she's a bitch. All right, now. Let's try this crap again. Drill pack. Psychic. Oh, 
Okay. So they're both going for keeps now, so... Missed... Oh, so Beaks is gonna be out. So... Let's go with the double team. Oh, come on! What the hell was that? Oh my god, that is bull. That is bull. You can't, you don't get two full restores. That's bull. You cheating bastard. Good. You stupid. Ugh. You know what? Kill them both. You build up a shield. Because I know for a fact these bastards are going to try something. Doesn't matter though, because Bulba Butt just killed one of them. You stupid cow. Oh, Bulba Butt's at level 55. No more need to level him up. Ah, oh, but I think I'll let. And this, my friends, is why I hate Miltank. Its in its entire existence pisses me off to no end. It's entire existence. And it's just warming it up. Because when you play Pokemon Heart Gold. Yeah, or Soul Silver, or Gold and Silver. You have to fight a Mill Tank in order to beat the game. And you guys know damn well which Mill Tank. Belonging to which trainer. <sighs> Stupid. Oh, I'm just gonna get the I'm, I'm very crotchety today, apparently. Crotchety? Wow, I sound like my grandfather. Um. Yeah, but basically, there isn't much... There, well, there isn't much. We've got the two Pokemon down... The Pokemon we needed down here. Oh, hello. Hello, what are you? Not you, Cubone, or Cubone, Cubone, whatever. We've dealt with you. Oh, great, a strength puzzle. Oh, this'll... Oh. Well, that was convenient. Oh! Oh! I get it. Okay. I get it. I know. This is how you trigger... Oh, yes! This is definitely how you trigger them. Okay. First things first. Next, you... Okay. Okay. No. There you go. This is how you trigger the unknowns. Oh, I get it. Um, okay. You guys gotta go there. And then you gotta go there. Not the hardest strength puzzle. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. And I'm sure you guys have dealt with worse too. I thought this was in a later area though, but okay. I'll settle. A mysterious rumble echoed somewhere far away. Alright, now that we've dealt with that little excursion. I wonder where we can catch the last Pokemon I need to talk about. Oh well. Now I have a list here of the items that we'll be getting. I don't have a uh, Sneasel with me, so I won't be able to uh, get all the items for you guys. But I do have a list of all the items you can find here in the Sevalt Canyon. Uh, Sand Slash, no. Uh, let's go Yoshi. We haven't seen Yoshi yet. But we've seen enough of Sand Slash to know what he's capable of, or not capable of. Alright, lick a tongue. Big Mama, you're up. Okay, let's see. Items, items, items. So far, I'm not seeing anything that's like... I'm, I'd go out of my way to use, other than... Uh, maybe... Uh, get that <laughs> Let me rephrase that uh, Not a lot of Pokemon I'd go out of Not a lot of items I'd go out of my way to try to get um, Let's leave you in there 
because this is Ursaring, one of the more powerful normal types in the game. Mostly in physical attack and bulk. It's good. Fortunately, the times you usually are able to catch Ursaring and it's a chibi evolved form Teddy Ursa are usually very late in the game. So it's not that useful to you. And not useful to me. But regardless, it's a decent Pokemon. Okay, what do we got? Oh my god! Leave me alone! Friggin' repels. Where are my repels at? Works for me. Max Elixir also works for me. Training by oneself is certainly not a bad thing. But it's also not bad to aim for the top of the partner. Even Bruno. He trained with a fellow by the name of Brawly before. Brawly seems more like a surfer dude to me though. Oh joy bunnies. Oh great. Another environment hippie. The Pokemon Rangers. Jackson. Jackson. Bitch please with your Jackson. Beaks will slaughter your ja- Ah. Oh! Stupid. Oh, I'm gonna use the forest to it. I got an executor that looks like a stupid pineapple tree. <sighs> okay, what is this? Charles, I'm a shakalaka maka shukunuka figure. The one Pokemon I hate more than Miltank. But we've seen it, so good news, I don't have to give it a bio. Ugh. What? One shot, Big Mama? You are M V P Mama. Wow. I'm proud of you. Oh, we got a fight in check. Alright, what's behind those rocks? King's Rock. Uh, you need that to evolve Slow Poke into Slow King. And it also makes Pokemon moves flinch. I'm not interested in getting it though because reasons. Did you just survive an earthquake, you stupid monkey? A oh, Bulbabutt's level 56 now. Good for him. Hitmontop! Hitmontop is the third of evolution in the Hitmon line. It is about equilibrium, meaning its attack and its defense are the same. So, yeah. Do with that what you will. An earthquake. You rat bastard. Now die. Of course you don't die. Of course you don't die. I hate your existence. I hate your existence. Ugh, I'm a choke. Okay, fine. Beaks! No, oh, no, Mr. Mime, come on out. I was gonna send out Beaks, but you know what? Beaks is going to get to level 55 eventually, so... Don't care about that item. Uh, what does this guy- what does this loser have? Oh, joy. Alright, Big Mama, I need to heal you. Where are all my Hyper Potions at? There you go. And Soda Pops. To heal everybody else. Alright, so what does he start out with? Actually, you know what? No. Uh, Yoshi. You're gonna start off here. Blah, blah, blah. We know you're a good trainer. You think you are, at least. You got a Rhydon. Cool. I've killed Rhydon before. It's not that big a deal. Goodbye, Rhydon. Kangaskhan! Big Mama. Brick Break! Goodbye. Or not. Hi, you got poisoned, you stupid kangaroo. And the poison will kill you this turn, so goodbye. Slowbro. Okay. Uh, Bulbabutt. 
Frizzy Flank! No new Pokemon from this guy, so... So get used to seeing these. Cause I don't think we're, I really don't think we're we're running out of Pokemon that have uh We're running out of Pokemon that we haven't seen. In fact, so far in this route, I think there are only two more we haven't seen, so Rock Slide. Goodbye. Or not. Aerial Ace. I hate your existence. You're not a cool trainer, you're a loser trainer. A whiny, saggy, whiny bitch of a trainer. Alright, Beaks, come on out. Peck him to death. Thank you. Good job, you three-headed bastard. Okay. Let's just get this last fight over with. She also has five train Pokemon. Uh, Big Mama, once again, is going to need to get the uh, experience here. Because she's got a couple of annoying normal types. I was given the best possible education to become this strong. Which means you're about to lose. Everyone that tries to brag about how good they are in this game, more often than not gets their asses handed to them. Earthquake, goodbye. Alright, next up, Dugong. Um, Yoshi. Why not? Why not you, Yoshi? Start with Confuse Ray. We'll confuse it with knowledge that is beyond its reach. And Thunderbolt! Which we will kill it with. Unless it kills itself with recoil, which it did not. Nine tails, Lapras, stay out. Surf. Oh, cool! You used Will O' Wisp to lower my attack power when I'm using nothing but special attacking moves. Congratulations, you idiot. Uh, Big Mama, there you go. Earthquake. And Bulbabut level 57. Oh God. If he gets too strong, then the what's a call it won't be that good. Uh, okay, next up is Girafferig. Girafferig is a normal psychic type. Very interesting type, which means because it is normal psychic type, it avoids the weakness to uh, it avoids its weakness, psychic's weakness to ghost, because ghost doesn't affect normal types. However, it still retains its weakness to dark types. Is it a good Pokemon? Yes, it is. Again, if you can use it properly. I think in the f the first two generations it was introduced in, which were Gen 2 and Gen 3, it was a lot more useful. But once the physical special split happened, it became more of a second tier Pokemon. Ah! Oh! This is gonna be such a long episode. Such a long episode. Okay. What about the Tenobi Ruins? That's where we are next. Hold on a second. Okay, on this route, we have two new Pokemon we can acquire. One through fishing, and one through simply going around. So first things first, I'm going to be looking for the Pokemon we can get for flying around, or surfing around, which is about 5% chance success rate. So I'll be right back. Okay, the laws of probability suck. They really do. I will explain more in a moment. But this is Mantine, the 5% encounter rate Pokemon I was talking about. Mantine is a water flying type, though unlike Gyarados, its defenses choose to rely on special. So in other words, what you're going to want to do is weaken this thing with moves that it's... That do fizz... Oh boy. That's going to make this suck. Uh, let's see. Has a very low catch rate, but it's got great special defense. If you need a special wall on your team, I recommend this. Um, come on, please. Ugh, no! Please! I'd like to catch you! I'm not using the Master Ball, I'm not that stupid! Oh, thank God. Oh. This is a very good Pokemon, though. 
Unfortunately, it's quad weak to electric types, so you could probably take advantage of that if your opponent's using it. Okay, second up. But okay, first off, before I talk about the Pokemon that uh before I talk about the next Pokemon, I need to, to call out the laws of probability because they are total BS. Okay, the laws of probability dictate that the 95% encounter rate, uh, the, 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 sorry, the encounter rate of a tentacle on this route is 90%. So in other words, 18 out of 20. 18 out of 20 would be the, the logic. Split that down, that'd be 9 tenths of the time you would run into a tentacle. Tentacruel and Mantine both sit at 5% in Pokemon Leaf Green. Enlighten me then as to how I saw seven Tentacruels but one Mantine. Shouldn't the number have been a bit more balanced? I suppose. But next up is going to be fishing. Now, what do I need to find this thing? All right, I need a Super Rod to look for this next Pokemon, which has a 40% encounter rate, lucky us. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, there's, uh, there are two Pokemon we can find on this route. One in Fire Red only, one in Leaf Green only. Uh, let's hope we can, let's hope we can find it. Nope. Okay, fine, keep trying. Uh, okay, this is it. Remoraid. Remoraid is a normal, well, normal, is a water type Pokemon. It's okay, I guess. It evolves into Octillery, and it's a pretty nifty Pokemon when you when I do say so myself. It's a good water type. The only problem is, at this point, you have a water type, and when you use it, when you would use it in, uh, uh, gold and silver, you should probably have a water type by then, or there are other options available to you. It's a good Pokemon, though. I, I can't really complain. It is a very good Pokemon. I'm gonna catch it, though. The other Pokemon you can catch on this route is Quillfish in Fire Red. Quillfish is a water poison type Pokemon, with poison points to draw instant poison, which is very interesting. I can't catch it. I think it's a good Pokemon, but again, you're probably, you've probably been able to see one by now. But anyway, these are the ruins that they were talking about. They are home to Unknown. Unknown is a psychic type Pokemon. There are 26 different forms of Unknown to cover each letter of the alphabet. If you want to catch all 26 of them, be my guest, but... I'm not, I'm just gonna catch one. Just for the Pokedex entry. Oh boy. Uh, my phone just went off. I'm banking. It's that stupid Kingdom Hearts app. Yes, it is. <gasps> your, your AP is restored. You gotta play me now. That thing is like... That thing is like a an addiction leech. All it just wants to do is leech onto me. Um, there really isn't much else out here, it's just the unknown, so, with that in mind, uh, let's fly back to Seven Island, because everything else out here in the Tenobi Ruins is unknowns. Uh, we could visit the Tenobi Chamber, I guess. Maybe it's a little different. Let's see, maybe it's a little different. Oh boy. Oh great, a guy that's probably going to want to battle us. Eh. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's sick Yoshi on him. And Bulbabutt, you do not need any more experience, mister. Uh, let's see. Mr. Mime could actually use some experience. So let's give him... Let's give him that XP share. Not like it's gonna help him. And speaking of which, before I forget again, considering this is another playthrough... There you are. Teach it to my boy Bulbabutt. In place of Razor Leaf. Which served us well in the fight with the Tauros and the Mill Tank. But in the long run, not that useful. Here. Okay. And Mr. Mime has that. Yoshi has that. Good. 
Oh, he didn't want to battle us. Oh, so it's basically just a haven for more unknowns. Oh. I thought there was something special about this place. I thought there was something special about this place, guys. So I'm just going to beat you up just because. Ice Beam! And guess what? Surf! And guess what? Extra Surf! Super Extra Surf! Goodbye, Benjamin. <sighs> okay. With all that taken care of in this episode, I think it's a good place to call it quits. Thank you guys for joining me on Nintendo Man 64. We're nearing the end, people. As far as I've scheduled, there are only three more episodes left. Now, I'm not going to record them today because it's kind of almost 9.30. And Michael has to go to work tomorrow, so he's going to want to get some sleep and let these videos process. So, until then, thank you guys for joining me on the Tenement 64. Join me next time, where we go to Trainer Tower to test our skills. Until then, sayonara.